Yes, there's times where you have to customize it based on the clients and the, the demands and the numbers and all that stuff. Yes, but for the most part, 80% of it is the same. So why don't we go create some templates which are just saved text or sequences that could also automatically follow up for us. Well, I recently picked up a copy of your book, Virtual Law Firm Secrets, and it was a very quick read and packed with insights on how to make more money and reallocate time. Can you give us a rundown on the goal of your book? It's to simply free up lawyers from either their workload or they're from their law firm and everything that comes with it. Cause that I found out to be the biggest challenge that law firm owners have that yes, you know, you could do well, get a lot of clients, have a lot of, you know, good settlements, things coming in, but you need to have a better control of your life. And that ultimately when you have control, then you will get freedom to do what really enjoy doing outside of work, spending time with family, go on vacations and, and essentially it just comes down to control and freedom. I think that's absolutely fantastic. As you said, you know, lawyers can be so focused on running the firm and doing the ins and outs of that, that they actually miss out on the flexibility and the rewards of having a successful law firm. And one of the biggest focuses of your methodology is freeing up time to do the things that you want to do. So what are some of the biggest time sucks that lawyers face? I think that three, um, I look at them as distractions. The top three for lawyers is number one, social media, Number two, your phone. And number three, your email inbox, right? That should essentially cover 89% of distractions we have. But um, ever since, you know, dealing with all these challenges myself, I basically come up with, I was trying to find the top way, the easiest, the one way that will give me the most results for that problem or challenge that I'm dealing with. So for each one, I've been able to come up with a very practical way to be able to cut, uh, cut down on those distractions. So let's go through them, I think, because they're worthwhile and all the details are shared in the book. The first one is your social media. When it comes to social media, I found out that most people are, uh, if they're successful with social media, they're successful going all in on one platform and being a producer on that one platform. So what you want to do is to cut out, really do analysis. And I have a little methodology on how to do that and how to evaluate this. What are the social medias are you on? Are you a consumer or are you a producer? If you're a consumer, let's cut all of those out. Let's be, you know, very aggressive. Let's just literally delete those off your phone. And instead, let's just find one social media that you're gonna go all in to be a producer on. If you just do that, cut out the ones that you're a consumer. Instead, just focus on your top one that you're a producer. That really is the secret sauce and the fastest way for you to be able to cut out social media and use it to your advantage. Second one is your email inbox. That I would, I would assume is actually the biggest one because most lawyers have their email inbox open throughout the day and they think their life revolves around it. You know, you may, you may think so, but it doesn't have to be that way. Instead, first of all, there's like little evolutions you want to make. First, first thing I would say, if you have that challenge is to first you need to make sure that you do not have your email inbox open at all times. Instead, you create three times a day that you that's scheduled in your calendar, maybe once, you know, in the morning, middle of the day at the end and it's only during those scheduled block dot times that you can check your calendar and then next level is only twice a day next level is maybe one time a day and then after that what you want to do is to create a process an automation process for our emails to be answered for you and this is the end conclusion of it is for your emails to be answered for you and whenever i share this people are like how no sam you can't, you know, I'm gonna need to answer my own emails, but I can share with you. I had the same limiting beliefs, but I realized I need to get myself out of my email inbox. And ever since then, I came up with a very systematic way to go to do that. I'll give a short gist of it, but again, the details will be in the book. Essentially, I use a tool that's shared in the book uh, that allows me to create templates and sequences of my most common uh, replies that, that I get emailed for. If you analyze all the emails that you get and all the things that you write, if you really analyze it, 80% of the stuff is re repetitive. Yes, there's times where you have to customize it based on the client and the, the demands and the numbers and all that stuff. Yes, but for the most part, 80% of it is the same. So why don't we go create some templates which are just saved text or sequences that could also automatically follow up for us of these emails. And over at one, you know, again, revolution, you'll create, you'll be able to use those templates sequences yourself. And two, 
let's go create a structure for our virtual assistants or other, your employees to come answer your emails for you, depending on what the email is saying and them knowing what reply they should send based on how it's categorized, which is again, explained in the book and who it's coming from, how it's categorized, all these different rules that you create automatically in your Gmail inbox. So that's the second one. And third is uh, your iPhone, your phone, all right? Um, and that's essentially, that includes all the incoming calls and texts you're getting. So what is the most practical way? Well, if you have an iPhone, which most of us do, what you do is you go on your iPhone, go under settings, and the eighth option is the option called focus mode, which a lot of people don't use, but you probably should be using. And there's a little thing, a setting, a setting called do not disturb. And the important part is you schedule out that automatically between your work hours, whatever time that is for me right now, it's 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Automatically, it turns on focus mode for you. And there's a little settings, a special settings you go through to say, hey, only allow texts and calls from these important people, my spouse, maybe my key staff, but everyone else, I don't want any calls or texts. And also I don't want, I don't want to receive any notifications from my different apps that I have. And you could put on exceptions and there's a little other settings that you go through. Hey, notify my people when I'm, I'm on focus mode. So that way people are not kind of like, you know, trying to find me. It's very clear to them I'm in focus mode. And by you creating that schedule of focus mode on your phone, you will not get distracted by incoming distractions coming your way. And what that does is the actual tangible result of it is you become much happier. It's it's literally directly correlated to how many how many times people, you know, how many things come your way versus um, how how much stress you get. So if you've cut that out, you'll just become happier. So those are the top three distractions. Again, I kind of kind of went through it as a breeze and I want you to read the book because it really gives you actional ways to implement these things. But that's essentially the gist of it. And I love that. And I love um, the concept of really kind of cutting out a lot of the technology and staring at the screen throughout the brunt of the day, um, because it, it, in my mind, it takes it back about 20 years, maybe more, where when you are a lawyer and your focus and responsibilities are on actual you know, lawyering tasks rather than sitting around and waiting for your phone to ring or being distracted by Facebook and, you know, posting pictures around the office and, um, you know, interacting with your computer as opposed to with your clients. Um, it's a completely different lifestyle, even at the office, than most of us envisioned when we pictured being lawyers when we grew up as a kid. Um, and it's much more productive um, to be able to really focus on the tasks at hand. One thing I want to add to it is all of those those three sectors, the one common denominator between all of that is control. Every single one of those, you're getting your control back. I'm in control when, when people can email me. I'm in control when people can call and text me. So get take back that control and you know you will see your life will change. Absolutely. You, you do not need to be readily available to the world uh, 24 hours a day and having that control and saying, this is how much of my time I'm willing to give to these individual tasks or to um, any subset of people um, is, a, is a great factor in uh, reallocating that time uh, towards productivity. Lawyer Nation, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, take a moment right now to subscribe right below and turn on the bell notification to get notified every time I post a video because right now I'm posting five videos a week, providing lots of value to lawyers. So click right here to subscribe and to watch the next most relevant video, click right here. Go do it, go watch it.